Day by day, there are many African American students and other minority students who are faced with many challenges within their home lives. These challenges affect the student's ability to achieve academically. Many of these reasons include not having proper support from parents, taking on other responsibilities at home, and not even having proper role models. These students have to learn how to balance what is happening at home and in the community with attempting to be successful in school. Many students are not always struggling in the classroom due to lack of understanding. These students' lack of understanding stems from lack of motivation. Well, maybe teachers should include in the schools what is driving our society more and more on a daily basis, which is technology. Research shows that teenagers spend more than seven and a half hours a day consuming media and 81% of teens who are online participate in social media. So why not use what students already love and incorporate it into the classrooms as a motivation for them to complete and improve in their daily instruction? Hello, my name is Crystal Scott and this is my capstone video presentation of my research project that was completed in my EDRS 8000 and 8900 courses. My topic was building on resiliency through motivation with technology in the classroom. The purpose of my presentation of my research project was to show that despite of the many challenges that are faced at home or in the community, minority students can use technology as motivation to succeed academically. Here are my research questions. Would resilience increase if students were more motivated in the classroom? And how would technology increase motivation and academic success? As I began researching my research topic, I noticed that there were not many articles related to increasing resilience through motivation. However, there were several articles related to motivation within the classroom, using technology, and resiliency among students. These artifacts provided me with a deeper insight on my topic and gave me ideas for my approach. The methodology. The participants in this study included 45 African-American students and two elementary teachers. With this study, I used a mixed methodology. Within this design, I was able to collect both qualitative and quantitative data, analyze the data separately, then compare Within this study, I started out with a qualitative method. I issued questionnaires to the students to measure resiliency within them. The questionnaires provided data that helped identify what contributed to the students' resiliency based off of environment factors, youth needs, and internal factors. Another qualitative method used was teacher interviews. After the questionnaires, I continued with collecting quantitative data. I started with the medicine a pretest. Then, within that week, I incorporated classes without using any technology within the classroom for one week. By the end of that week, I gave a post test. Then, the next week, I incorporated technology within the classroom for another week and administered a post test at the end. After the incorporation stages, I was able to compare the data from both weeks. Implementation without technology consisted of no technology for me as a teacher as well as for my students. We were only able to use dry eraser board, paper, pencils, textbooks, and other resource books from the media center as well. My students were quite disappointed about this decision, but as time went on, they became accustomed to it.
The next week, they became a lot more excited about going through the lessons. We began to incorporate technology consistently throughout the lessons for both my students and myself. Technology was used within whole group and small group lessons. They were extremely excited about the use of ClassFlow to receive their class instruction and interactively participate in class. After the implementation of technology within my lessons, I was then able to determine if there were improvements within the students' scores from the lessons with implementation of technology compared to their scores without technology. Based off of the data, I was able to determine which students made the largest gains. By analyzing all of the quantitative and qualitative data, I was able to compare and contrast all of the findings and identify common themes. The student questionnaire was entered into Google Forms using an ordinal scale ranging from strongly agreed to strongly disagreed. I chose to analyze the data using descriptive statistics. I analyzed the findings using the ANOVA single factor tool. I chose to transcribe both interviews and use data coding to identify themes. Based off the student questionnaires, there were several external factors that affect my students daily. Here are the statistics from the surveys. 4% of the students disagree that teachers believe that they can do a good job. 6% of the students disagree to some degree that they do not have someone at home who cares about their schoolwork. 2% of students disagree that they have someone at home who believes they can do well. 9% of the students are not trying to do the right things according to their peers. And 2% of the students somewhat disagree that they are even trying their best. The pre-test and post-test was analyzed using the ANOVA single factor tool where I was able to test and determine the means of the three tests. A single factor ANOVA was computed to examine the effect that teaching with technology and determine whether it will increase the student's motivation and will it have an effect on their test results. The mean of the pretest was 32%, increasing to 62% without technology, and finally 83% with lessons with technology. Therefore, based off of the findings, Integrating technology had a significant effect on the student's scores and understanding. From data coding, there were four common themes that I was able to identify within the two interviews. The common themes identified were motivation, technology use, classroom strategies, and a few negative aspects. Both teachers discussed how students nowadays are accustomed to technology and they feel that implementing it into the classroom will motivate all students. They both discussed that it enhances instruction and extends learning. Based off of my research, technology does have a tremendous influence on student motivation and interest. Also, not only students who display resilience, but all students' scores increase significantly. My conclusion is, Technology simply increases motivation in all students if it is used correctly. Overall, my experience with my research project has broadened my horizons about using technology within my classroom. With this experience, I was able to include all aspects of what I've learned throughout this entire program. For an example, I was able to use the many Web 2.0 tools that I learned about last spring. I was even able to incorporate the emerging technologies within my classrooms that I discovered at the ISTE conference in 2014. I gained a clear understanding about analyzing statistics, and it also increased my confidence with working with adults by conducting, allowing me to conduct interviews with my fellow colleagues. Therefore, I had a wonderful experience with this project, which reflects how magnificent my overall experience has been with the Instructional Technology Program at Kennesaw State University. Thanks for watching.